Next up is the types of templates that exist in Thesis 2.1. Okay, Thesis 2.1 has two types of templates. It has core templates and custom templates. Core templates are templates that are automatically applied to their appropriate pages. So they follow the WordPress um, template system, which means that the single template is always automatically applied to all single posts and all custom post types. The um, page template is automatically always applied to pages. The archives template is always automatically applied to all category, tag, taxonomy, author, date, archives. Um, the home template is always only applied to the blog posts temp, uh, page. So those are core templates and those templates are automatically applied. If you don't do anything else, they're going to be applied. Then you have such a thing as then you have such a thing as custom templates and custom templates are templates that you create that are only applied if you select them in the appropriate location so for example if you're in a post or a page thesis gives you a dialogue that lets you choose a custom template if you're you can also edit your categories or your tags and assign custom templates to those when you're editing the category and tag um, but in the absence of a custom template they, if you haven't assigned a custom template, then that particular view of your website is going to be displayed using a core template. Okay, so those are two types of templates in Thesis 2, core and custom. And the core templates in Thesis 2 have both parent templates and child templates. And so, um, If we take a look at this, here are your core parent templates. And every template that's got a child template has a plus beside it. So if we open that up, you can see the child templates. Okay, so the, the four core uh, parent templates are home, single, page, and archive. Home goes always only to your posts page. So if you've got a static front page, home does not apply to it. Single is um, always to your individual posts and custom post types. Page is always to your pages that are not either your front page or your uh, blog posts page. And then archive is to all of the rest of your, um, well, your category pages, tag pages, custom taxonomy pages, that kind of stuff. Okay, those are your, those are the core parent templates. Now, some of these templates have child templates, and the single template has an attachment. The attachment is the template that displays, uh, you know, an attachment on your post when you click on it. So often people have um, have their images that they insert into posts set to link to a uh, link to the main image, and so if they click on it, it opens it up in an attachment page. And uh, that's what the attachment post, attachment template is for. And then any custom, uh, any custom post type that you create will have its own potential template. So, for example, if you are using WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce creates a product post type. So you'll have a product template that you can use to edit. Right? Any any time you create a custom post type it will, Thesis will automatically create a template that is a child of the single template. The page template only has two uh, potential um, or two children. It has the front template, which is the one that you use when you're designing a static front page. And if you have a static front page, this is the only template that will ever apply to it. Um, and then you have your 404 error template or 404 error page, and this is the template that gets applied to whatever page you assign as your 404 page. And then the archive template children are legion, <laughs> um, because first there's a category and tag archives, and then any custom post type that you created has an archive just for that custom post type, which is essentially the corollary to your blog posts page for that custom post type. 
Um, any custom taxonomy has its own archive page. And then you've got date and author and search results. Those all are uh, use the archive template or are children of the archive template. The reason why I point this whole thing out to you is that the children automatically take all of the characteristics of their parent unless you change them. And if you change a child template, it no longer takes any of the characteristics of the parent. It, it and it will always just uh, I mean, it's always going to be its own template. But if you don't change it, it's always going to take the the characteristics of its parent. OK, that's the parent child relationship and templates. You automatically break that parent child sharing of information the moment you change. Um, the moment you change a child template, well, from that point on, the child template no longer inherits any of the characteristics of the parent template. So that's that parent-child relationship.